This guy says he'll be in a white van just past the entrance on the right side. Hey, what's going on? Today's video is another storage unit video. It's at, it's going to be a little bit different than the last the last one. I didn't have to do very much research on this one out the gate. We're going to have to do a ton of research once we get into it and start sifting through the stuff that's actually inside of it. Because I Turn have right. this guy says he's in a white van. That's probably one of the more creepy texts you can get. This guy is literally in a white van. Okay, he seems pretty normal. Which is it over here? Yeah, it's behind. Okay, cool. This one I'm not really looking to sell it. Okay. Nobody's been in, nothing's been touched. That's a good, good photograph. There you go. Nice and tiny, that's what I wanted. All right, well, I'll leave you with it. Thank you so much, yep. you have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. This is gonna be the easiest one ever. This is gonna be easy. This was still 400 bucks. No, 400. $140. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little bit different. This is a tinier, tinier unit. I was originally not even going to buy a unit um, cause there was really, there was nothing online. I lost bids on like two other ones. They wanted, one ended up being like over four grand. It was like 4,100 bucks or four grand for a, for a storage unit that had a Harley Davidson in it. And I don't know enough about bikes and, and I just didn't wanna get that deep into it. And another one I lost by a couple hundred bucks. I just really, really wasn't iffy. It got a bunch of trash in it. And this is, this is the smallest unit I'm ever gonna buy, but I bought it for one reason and one reason only, because I'm going to try and find the gentleman whose locker it was. Now there's a reason why I'm saying this. It's kind of strange. You probably won't ever see this. And uh, I guess you'll, you'll, you'll understand a little bit more here in a second. But beforehand, you guys know um, Christmas is coming up and a lot of guys are like me and don't know what to get their gals for Christmas. But I've got you guys covered because Sarah has actually got three separate, I just held up six fingers for some odd reason, but Sarah's got three separate entire things picked out for you guys. Click the link at the top of the bio. Use code LUNKERS at checkout, you'll save 15%. She made it simple and fast for guys like me who don't know what the heck to get their girl, their mom, their sisters, whatever it is. She's got three entire things picked out for you guys. Click the link at the top of the bio. Make it easy this Christmas. I myself don't even know what I'm getting Sarah. I'm sure you don't know what you're getting your girl or your mom or your sister. So Sarah's gonna actually, she's picking out the entire outfits for you. Easy peasy lemon squeezy is clicking the top of the bow. Use the code LUNKERS at checkout and it will save you 15% off and you're supporting Sarah in her store. I love you guys and I'll see you back at the unit. I feel like I don't even need to put gloves on because I mean this is the tiniest unit in the world. This is like the tiniest unit possibly in the history of mankind. So real quick, um, just empty that'll give you more of an idea why I bought this unit there we go so I'm gonna actually open up all these boxes not here I'm just gonna load them back up on the trailer and open them I'm at the warehouse and I think the lower the lighting be a little bit better to see what's inside of them so see this you I don't know if some of you guys are getting getting the vibe here there's a reason why I bought this unit I need to find out whose locker this is Whose ever locker it is if you watch this video I'm very sorry to be the dropper hat or your cover your cover damn that's what I was hoping. I was hoping on the inside it would have said his name, but he didn't put it in there. It did come with this. I know these are very expensive. I am going to keep this. I'm not going to lie. I will keep you keeping this. So uh, I'll show you what that is when we go in there. I will be keeping that. And this is easy. I'll just back the trailer up real quick. Actually, I don't even have to. You just carry the box up, throw them on there, and we're good. So my main goal, I feel like I keep saying this owner, you'll understand. But I want to find the person whose stuff this is and give it back to them. Because there's a box in here that I saw that was opened up in, in the photos from whenever I was buying the unit. This is the only reason why I bought the unit, because I want to find the gentleman and give him all the stuff back. Yeah, we'll load this up and then we'll talk about that later on. Hey guys, right now that this is probably the smallest storage unit I'm ever going to buy during this uh, storage unit series stuff. But when we get back over there, we'll knock open all these boxes. I'll show you guys that box over there. I find that one. This box here, pop that down real quick. This is the this is the entire reason I bought this unit was because of this box. This box was open in the pictures. And as you can see, can't really see in there real well because I got it down. But there's a dress uniform in there. Um, this guy has been deployed. A whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna actually look up these ribbons he's got as well. Maybe we can kind of piece together some puzzles here and who this is. But my goal by the end of this is to find out who this gentleman is, get his name and where he's from. Maybe we can reach out because I know we have a decently sized audience on here who is probably watching this video. Maybe somebody might know him or know somebody who was in the Marines who might then know this guy so he can come and pick up his stuff that'd be ideal it's the only reason why i bought this unit it's pretty much to find a guy give him his stuff back because he's gonna want it i promise you how am i supposed to lock the oh Okay, so I got these, uh, well, I'm gonna stick all the boxes over there on this shelf. That's one of the shelves from the other prior unit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bust open some of the stuff, and I know on his uniform he's got, I say it's a he. I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty fairly positive it's a he because of his uniform. Yeah, it's a he. What am I talking about? 
So my thought process behind this is this gentleman got out of the military, moved back to Texas, just outside of Fort Worth, Texas, moved back to just outside of Fort Worth, Texas, maybe got in a, in a bind with money, or he could have passed away. That could be another thing. He passed away. No one knew that he had a storage unit with stuff in it. Then he just went up for auction. Or he got in a bind with money, like I was saying before, couldn't afford the storage unit. So that's why I'm kind of hoping that, that well, I said I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping he's still alive and we can reach out to him and find him so then he can get his stuff back. Because I promise you he's gonna want this stuff. If he doesn't want it now, he's gonna want it at a later date because I was looking at his uniform, which I'll pull out right now. I could tell this guy was an NCO just by how neat everything was. I mean, everything inside this unit was like pristine cut, nice. So here's his dress. So he's a sergeant. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to look this up because I know that uh, the Navy, which is the Marines or whatnot, their, their stripes mean something different on the Army. It's a uh, left arm means service time or right arm means service time. Years in service every three years is a stripe. And then every six months overseas, you get a stripe as well. So I don't really remember. I gotta look this up real quick, which I'm going to. What theirs is. So apparently, from what I'm, I'm reading, like I said, they're different. Army is three years for every every hash mark, and then the Marines is every four years. So this guy was in for at least eight years. He didn't do 12, or he would have got another one. So he did between eight and 11 years. Pretty significant. There's the Marines. They also don't have, like I was saying. Oh, it's 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 this way. It's what it is. Army, I think, is on the right sleeve. It's every three years of the hash mark, you get one. And then every six months of overseas service, like uh, Iraq or Afghanistan or whatever, World War II, you know what I mean? Vietnam, they, they get every six months, you get one on this sleeve. I think that's what it is. It could be other one. It's been a while since I was in. I, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research for you guys. So some of these rib ribbons are going to be the same for both parties. Like, I don't know what this one is, and I don't know what that one is. I don't know what that one is. This is an air warfare. Now I'm like kind of wondering... How old is this? One of the main reasons why I wanted to buy this unit was to find him like I was telling you guys, but I didn't want someone random to buy it and just throw away all the stuff because this kind of stuff can't be replicated if it's yours, which we're going to dig through all of his stuff to try to find his last name, which would be kind of crucial. So out the gate, this is a uh, Air, Air Naval Warfare. Like, I don't know what these ones are, by the way. Enlisted Aviation Warfare Specialist. That's pretty much what that one is. Uh, military badge, created in 80s, 1980. This includes most personnel who are trained flight deck personnel on board aircraft carriers or maintenance personnel at an aircraft immediate so I don't really know exactly what it means. See the guy holding the batons? Waving on the aircraft? I don't know. No, I don't know what this one is either. Oh, sh I can actually see what it is real quick. That's a that's the front of a boat. Those are sabers. So the top badge, I guess it's probably, I don't really know how their, their uniform sets up, so I'm not gonna pretend like I do. I think that would be like the equivalent of me and my CIB. In the army, it goes like, it goes like air assault, airborne, CIB. I don't know if theirs is like the most insignificant on the very bottom, or if they don't stack them when they start, I don't know how the, I don't know how these, these work. Anyway, this guy was trained to qualify uh, to perform the duties upon a United States service warship. So he was on the cool, like the, I don't, I don't know exactly what this guy did. He was on the warships. Now, now comes the fun ones. Now I know for a fact that these ones stack in importance. Like I know that for a hundred percent, they'll stack. Like I've got, I've got some of these one that he has already. I don't know what that one is though. Okay, so I think this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm gonna do quick fast and dirty to tell you guys exactly what's on here. I know a lot of you guys may not know. This rack right here, this thing, order of precedence, 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 precedence. If you're looking at it, if as if I was wearing this, top one on this side is always the highest award you can get. And then it goes this way and then pretty much the same down. And the very bottom one down here is the least, least important one and pretty much everybody's probably got it. So the one on top. One on top, he's got a Navy Marine Corps combination medal, which is the same thing as in the army, it's called an ARCOM. He's got one. For every other one, he would have apparently a star. We would have oak leaf cluster. Probably different. A little something different. The next one over, Navy Achievement Medal. I think he's got five of those. It was pretty much you can get for being really good at PT. Joint Merit. Joint Meritorious Unit Award right there. Okay. Then next he has a Navy Ribbon. Then it looks like he has a Good Conduct Medal, which you get every four years, I believe, for having good service, not being a dumbass. National Defense Service Medal. Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal. I'm just going to go to this last one. I know it's an Afghanistan Ribbon because I got one of those. What's this one? Then it, pretty much everybody's got this one, the Guat Expeditionary Met Service Medal and Guat Service Medal. And all the ones that don't really matter. As you go down, they're pretty much the ones you get, like, when I got a basic, I think I had three ribbons. And when I ended, I think mine looked like this. I don't really actually know. There you go. Quick down and dirty for all of you guys who do not know about what is actually on here. Most important, least important. Don't know what that is. That's a ship. I told you guys at the very beginning. Guy worked on a ship or something. But what I am going to do is I'm going to seal this box up and throw it over there is what I'm going to end up doing. Because, I mean, I'm not going to sell this stuff. And it'll sit here until someone comes and claims it. And if no one does claim it in the next however long, then it will unfortunately probably get thrown away. But trying to save it. Let's put this over here. So you guys may think I'm strange, but I'm gonna go ahead and this might be kind of strange. I know they're just boxes. I don't know what I'm gonna stick my hands into since I didn't pack these. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this, just in case. 
I have no idea what the hell that is. More like a statue and some random right, There's one box. This guy was probably a pretty clean guy. Everything in here was like folded nice. Oh, see, look, there we go. See, he's got all his uniforms still in here. I can't say what they actually call this, because this, that video would get demonetized quick. I mean, dude, this is all his dress uniforms. Oh, I need to find a name. That's what I was looking for. I need to grab that box again. I need, that might have his name in it. This actually does have a name in it. He even has an address. It has a phone number. It says date 8 So I don't think that really, I think that pans out. To John, love always, Belinda. Garza, I think his last name is Garza. Spears? What name are we at now? Oh, shit. that's not gonna be his, that's an army. That's an army uniform. What's up? It's a newspaper in here. Kennedy. Is it a real newspaper though? Could be. I think it is a real newspaper. That's pretty cool. I'm not buying and buy this unit to keep the stuff. I'm keeping a couple things. November 22nd of 1963. I'm looking for something else. I'm looking for a name. I mean, he's got coins, but that's a generic ass coin. Generic coin. This one says the USS Ronald Reagan. This one says USS Chosen guided missiles so so far all i have was he was on the uss reagan possibly uss was chosen possibly he was a sergeant he's from the area of weatherford texas he was he went to afghanistan so i know it's not like old school somebody from like vietnam era so these are all the boxes we literally have out of there plus that big one this this that and a stretcher i'm gonna go we're gonna, we're gonna sift through every single one of these items look at all the tags and maybe we can get a name i know on that there's a little tiny bible that's inside of here that has a name in it maybe i i need a name though this whole thing would literally be for nothing if we cannot find a name hey i just uh, got a call from you yeah I, I was the guy that just bought the storage unit from y'all we got the storage unit again. yeah hey Hey, quick question. If I wanted to give the stuff back to the guy that I bought it from, is that is that possible? Or is he still, do you know who he is? Or do you have his contact info? These actual items belong to me. Uh, I, I buy storage units on occasion. I'm usually looking for furniture. Um, oh, shit. It's Spears, too. That one says Spears? Oh, there we go. Now we're, now we're, now we're cooking with gas. Spears, that's right. Because this is Spears. And this was in the box with all the sergeant stuff. So that's a, now we got the last Spears. It's a Sergeant Spears. There we go. Hey, look at you. You just did big things with your life. Right? That's an overcoat. That's like a rain jacket. For his... All right, so we got, we know exactly who it is now. We, we finally found some uh, indication on who it is. It's a Sergeant Spears. So we got a uh, Spears right there. S-P-E-A-R-S. -E and then on the inside, yeah, Spears again. So Spears is a Sergeant Spears who's been to Afghanistan. Well, actually, you guys already know all the medals he's got. Anyway, that guy right there. If you guys know a Sergeant Spears in the Marines, Go to, I mean, you can come up here to the Guggen Warehouse, just go to Guggen Squad, type it in. What is it? Was it two, three, four, five nail road? They'll be up here right here. You can have all your stuff back. Hey, I am going to keep this. It's because I know that Mr. Spears did not pay for this. These are very nice. That right there, I will keep that. Oh, To do thinking about plus the time they're right from you. Okay. Right price. What, what's, uh, what's the price? What are you asking for it? I wanted to. I have a video that goes up tonight saying that I drained all the fluids out of it because I f***ed it up, I guess. Took everything out of it and I'll, I'll take 15 is it. You give me 1500 you can take it. I just got offered a gun. So I'm gonna, okay. if, you, if you don't buy it, I'm just gonna go trade it to my buddy for an AR. Yeah, 1500 is a little more than I was hoping okay. to pay for. So. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go trade it. I got a guy who wants to give me a a rifle for it, so I'm like, ah, hell yeah, that's a good deal. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take, I'll take that. a rifle all day. Absolutely, man. Well, if you want some more free stuff, uh, you want some, <laughs> some DVDs? <laughs> I'm have to pass on the DVDs. <laughs> awesome. How about a stallion? You want to take home a stallion? I'll take home a black stallion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, black stallion. Let me take off the data. No, you shoot these. Yeah, no, it makes sense it, now. It, it, on yeah. why it would take off whenever I would just dump it. These are made to run hard. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you want to take a look at that? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a fair trade. So, all ambidextrous, every part on it is meticulous. Nothing scrapes. There's an empty mag if you want to get the full. I like this. This is cool. 
It's got good weight to it. Yeah, you'll know it's there. Um, yeah. Like I said, it kicks like a cricket, man. Kicks like a cricket. I like this. It's actually pretty quiet. I like it. I'll do it. I'm telling you, man, it's four months I've been trying to trade it out. I'm gonna have this thing burn like a kid. It's immense, and I look at it, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> 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 that hurts. Make it happen. I would say I hate to see it go, but I don't really care about the bike. Well, yeah, you don't have you don't have anything into <laughs> no, it. No, I don't have anything into it really, other than the money. But now I got a I got a rifle. Well, what a good way to end the video over here. We uh, just traded the dirt bike, so it is not available anymore. I just traded it for what's what's actually we you know we'll do a little quick quick sneak peek of what we just traded traded for here. I got myself another five five six, which is something you always need inside of your life. Find it here. Ugh. Hey, what's up, butt sock to the door? Hey, what's going on, hand grip? So at the gate, I know that it is a Rainier Arms ambidextrous selector switch. There's no multi bang bangs. Uh, it's just single. Got a fixed stock, is what it looks like. So what's good? What's good about all this, this rifle and this setup right here is you can 100%. You can do whatever you want with it. And I think is this connected? Is it floating? Floating. So I should be able to pull this back. I think I'm gonna do something with it. Yep. Okay, there's this. Come on, slip ring. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna completely take that off right now, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I think I might do a little bit of a build action on this. I like this. It is, it's, it's done well. I like Picatinny rail systems a bit more myself. I think I'm gonna remove this right here. I think I'm gonna take off this front uh, foregrip or heat shield, whatever you wanna call it. Take off the heat shield and turn, turn it into a Picatinny rail up front. I think I might take this off the back, move this back, change out the buttstock and actually put an adjustable collapsible buttstock on there. And I think she'll be pretty, pretty good. I do like it. Smooth. It's very clean, which is good. Um, he did do a good job keeping it clean. That's very crucial. Looks good. I like it. Good choice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video over here on Lunkers TV. Like I told you guys, I was actually not anticipating on buying a storage unit, but when I found this one, I could not let it slip by. There might be a chance for us to find Mr. Sergeant Spears. If you guys know his Sergeant Spears that lives in the Fort Worth area, I guess he could live anywhere from Fort Worth to Waco and Dallas, anywhere around there. Found the unit in Weatherford, but it doesn't mean he's from Weatherford. Just, we'll just say in the DFW area, Sergeant Spears. I got your stuff, buddy. Do not feel ashamed. Come and pick it up. Stuff happens. I'm trying to help you out here. You're going to want this stuff at some point in your life. So with that being said, I love you guys. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and roll the same outro we've been doing. I'll catch you guys later. I do love you. And I'm out of here.